Good evening. Thank you for joining us tonight. I'm Jeff Herndon. A major football weekend to determine who will play in the Super Bowl. It is the first year Kansans can bet on the playoffs. But is sports betting living up to its expectations? And what does it mean for addiction? KSN's Alexis Padilla reports. It's our top story at six. Alexis. Jeff, last year the American Gaming Association predicted more than 31 million Americans would bet on the big game. Kansas pushed along sports betting in time for football season. It's doing better than expected, but with that comes challenges for some. Whether in a casino, or in your hand. Sports betting has been a hit for Kansas. Our projections from last year during session and stuff were actually maybe a little conservative. They we're doing a little better than what our projections had said. We Bringing a rise in those reaching out for help with gambling addiction. There's been a 9.5% increase in calls between April and December. The South Central Kansas Gambling Task Force says while resources are available, many do not know about them. This is a new thing coming in. There should have been preventive advertising advertisements going out there, and the only advertising going out is coming from the little budget that the task force has received from grants. In the first four months, the Sunflower State earned more than $2 million in revenue. $750,000 go to the White Collar Crime Fund. And then after that, of the money that's transferred to the state, 80% of it goes into attracting a professional sports team to Kansas fund, 18% goes to the state general fund, and then 2% goes to problem gambling. Too much comes out before it actually gets into services for problem gambling. Robert says some lawmakers are working to change that. There's money out there. It just has to be allocated more appropriately so that it helps prevent this from becoming a statewide issue. The task force chairman says it's important to only spend what you can afford to lose. If you or someone needs help, you can call the number that is on your screen, and you can find that number also on our website, KSN.com. Here for you, Alexis Padilla, KSN News 3.